Hey everybody, happy Saturday night to you. This is King's Drummer, and it's time to do a record of the week. And I meant to do this earlier uh, in the week, but I have been knocked on my ass with the flu for the last four or five days. But today I'm finally starting to feel like my old self, and uh, so I set up the camera, I thought I'd give this a shot. Uh, okay, so here we go, record of the week, coming from Dream Theater, uh, Metropolis Part 2, Scenes from a Memory is today's record of the week. And a pretty cool album cover. This originally came out on CD uh, back in 1999. And the last year or year and a half ago or so, it was re-released on Record Store Day on vinyl for the first time. And I scored myself a copy. There's the gatefold. And it's a two record set and 180 gram vinyl. And whoever remixed this um, did an awesome job. It sounds fantastic on vinyl. Sound, this sounds way better than my CD copy that I bought way back in 99 when it was first released. Just fantastic. All right, let's get into this. Um, Dream Theater, Saints from Memory. Metropolis Part 2, Saints from Memory. Um, the first album that featured the keyboardist Jordan Rudis. He was a, he was a new guy uh, during this album. And this, and this album was do or die for the band. <laughs> Uh, because the album before this was called Falling Into Infinity and the band was getting a lot of pressure from their record company to make more uh, commercial songs, more radio accessible songs, radio friendly songs and that's not Dream Theater and unfortunately for Dream Theater <laughs> as far as the fans, you either really love the band or you can't fucking stand them <laughs> and I know a lot of people in VC are big Dream Theater fans and some don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> and I can understand that uh, because you're either on the boat or you're not on the boat when it comes to Dream Theater. And I love this band. I think they are awesome. I've seen them live so many times and e each time they they blow me away. And whenever the day comes when Dream Theater releases a new record, that's like, that's like a big day. You can't wait to get the CD or the vinyl home and just dig into all that great new music for the first time. And when I first got this, I was blown away. I mean, just listen to that. When I first heard this for the first time, I was floored. I was like, man, this is everything you like about Dream Theater times 10 in this record. So anyway, so back to Fallen Infinity, it had to be more of a radio-friendly type of album. So there were some singles on it. They filmed some music videos for it. It wasn't quite Dream Theater. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it just didn't fit the image you're normally used to seeing with that band, so, um, and, and to the point where Mike Portnoy, the drummer, wanted to leave. Uh, he was starting to leave the band at this point. I guess he got talked into giving it one more chance, and so they took matters in their own hands, in their own hands and, and uh, changed out their keyboard player, brought in Jordan Rudis, like I said, who's, who's just an amazing keyboard player. And they had to write like the album of their careers. So basically, if this album didn't make a big splash with the loyal Dream Theater fans, the band was probably done. And and I remember all the uh, little web episodes uh, that, that that were posted on the internet while they were recording this record. Uh, they just gave me a little you know little videos of someone laying down a guitar track, them mixing. Mixing the album, I remember all those little web episodes from the, in the internet, giving me a little taste here and there, a little taste here and there, until this finally came out in '99, October '99, I believe. And wow, it, it, it delivered in a big way, and, I, and it was a good thing. I think the fans really willed this album to be successful, but the music is just badass on here. That's really all I can say. Uh, it's a concept record, uh, so it's. It's just a continuous story from the beginning to the end of this album. I won't really go into the storyline of this album. It has to do with reincarnation, past lives, that sort of thing. <laughs> and uh, it is a very interesting story, very involved. Uh, these lyrics are not only, I mean, of course, they're the lyrics of the song, but they're, if you can notice, there are, some of them are in different fonts here and here. One is to indicate the story taking place in present time, and another font is to represent the story taking place in 1928. 
Uh, because it's all about reincarnation and past lives and uh, I mean, I'll, to get into the story it would probably take a 20 minute video but it's a great it's a great story if you want to follow the story part part of it but if you're only in it for the music only there's some awesome instrumentals on here the most insane instrumental i think dream theater has ever written was uh the dance of the eternity which is a 10 minute crazy instrumental I once tried to learn this on drums and I could never do it. I mean, I, mean, I came, I don't say, I don't, even, I don't even think I came close. It is it's somewhat complicated playing and I, I would play with headphones on and I would lose it in certain parts. I never really could get it. The, the first single to come out of here was a song called Home. Uh, on, the, on the album it's 12 minutes and 53 seconds. There is a radio edit version of it that exists. I think I have it on CD. Uh, somewhere I don't really remember <laughs> but anyway um, that was a great song uh, it had a great intro it had a great keyboard uh, jam and solo part in the middle of it I and mean, all these songs turn into some crazy instrumental parts uh, just amazing and what we're listening to now is strange deja vu which is which is amazing uh, I caught a show in San Francisco during the tour of this album and when they sang this song, the house went crazy. It's only the first, more or less the first song, but the first song that has vocals. And people just lost their minds. Um, and they performed the whole album in its entirety when you went and saw them live. And the whole album, to get to this whole album, plus the keyboard soul that was put in the middle of it, damn near took almost 90 minutes. <laughs> it's a, quite a big piece of music. And, you know, some of my favorite songs here, like Strange Deja Vu, Fatal Tragedy is fantastic, uh, Beyond This Life is a great killer song, um, Through Her Eyes was a, more or less a ballad, but a very nice ballad, uh, the live version is definitely better than the, uh, the studio version, Home was a great one, uh, but the one that, that seems to get the most memory is a song called The Spirit Carries On which is actually done with a choir, a vocal choir, towards the end of the song. So it's, it, it, it more or less deals with, re the song more or less deals with reincarnation. There's a live video of it, and I do believe I have it. Maybe, yeah. Sorry about that, I should have had this ready. And it, it comes with a companion video, DVD. And uh, the live version of The Spirit Carries On is so spectacular on here. Um, I wish there was a picture, a good picture I could show you of the choir. Uh, there's that one, but it's so tiny. Uh, hopefully the camera will get in focus. And they do perform that song with a choir. So really, really cool. And if you ever get a chance to uh, pick up the DVD, uh, this is spectacular. It's the whole album in its entirety performed in, in New York. It's called Scenes from New York. Really nice. Anyway, this is a limited edition press. I think it might have been a thousand, I'm not really sure, but I had number 468. As you can see there. Just a spectacular record. Um, some great metal prog, I guess it's with what I, is a way I would describe this kind of music. Uh, some great instrumental pieces, a lot of good jamming. You could tell the guys are just amazing at their instruments. And, you know, I, I can see being overwhelmed when you first listen to this because there's so much information and crazy techniques being thrown, you, thrown at you at once. It, it's hard to keep up with this record, but you, know, you gotta take it in pieces and um, this is such a great album to get into. So, Dream Theater, uh, Metropolis Part 2, Scenes from a Memory, this week's record of the week. All right, that's gonna do it for me, because I feel a cough coming on, I don't wanna hog up along here on the camera. <laughs> uh, so, hope everyone has a good weekend, and see you guys in the next video.